Hey everybody! Um, this is my last uh, video. I told you I would come back and show you how I do the assembly uh, for the mini file folder um, journal slash albums. And um, if you go back to the link in that last video uh, to the tutorial on how to how to create these. Um, follow the instructions up into the point. Uh, do not actually assemble it yet. Um, I just found it's so much easier as far as getting uh, your papers how you want them and everything, especially if you want these tabs covered um, and the top parts of the um, pockets covered. It's I found it so much easier to work with them unassembled while you're doing your papers and I'm just going to walk through that go through that part with you. Um, so I have all the pieces, the cover, the three areas with the uh, tabs and I've also gone ahead and done you know, my little flips, my inserts and my tags and I've almost got, got it into a rhythm now where you know I go ahead and cut all this down, I go ahead and do the distressing um, so then when I'm ready to um, you know, add my papers and decorate it, I am ready to go. So, I go through and pick out my papers and I have a little stack here and I think this is the um, Paper Studio Haberdashery Collection. <clears throat> um, and this is a cardstock paper, so this one is going to be thick. Um, so what I do is I look at the papers and I go through and pick out what I want to use. And my front cover, this is the piece that is going to be the part that's going to be covered with this paper. So I'm just going to lay this down on the part that I want and take my pencil and trace around it, which, you know, I've already done that on here. Uh, so I just line it up. You just hold it down firm, and this is, these are not the heavy-duty file folders, um, but you can still trace around them very easily. So tracing, and then I write on on the actual file part. It says front cover, and I will flip this over. And where is it? It's there. I've written front cover also on this so that I can go back to it. And I want to use the same paper, just a different piece, for the back cover. So I'm going to take my section that's going to be the back and Put that face up. This is the back cover piece. This is the part I'm going to be covering with this. Lay it down. And I use the edges as much as you know, as much as I can too, you know, as far as getting the parts of the design that I want. And I'll keep it like this and I'll trace around. Just go around. And then to get this side, I'm just going to flip this whole thing over and get that last edge. And then when I'm finished with that, I'm going to flip this over and I've got back cover written on here. And I'm, just, I'm going to go through this and put, put this aside um, back with your other pieces at the bottom so that uh, things don't get mixed up. So I've got my front cover, and now I want the inside of the front. Now when you assemble this, this is going to be your first front pocket, or your first side pocket. So I'm going to start with this, and this is what made it so much easier for me. Grab another piece of paper it up this way so hopefully you can see okay. Let me get this out of the way. 
Okay, so I found the area that I want. <clears throat> and I'm going to trace around trace around this whole card. Just go around with the pencil. I've already done it, so I'm not going to go around it with the pencil again. Right front and side on your card. Front and side on the back of the paper. Now what I'm going to do is take my first um, I guess section, first tab section of the of the journal, and I want the short piece, and I'm going to line up the bottom edge to the line that I just drew from that last template, and I'm going to make sure that my sides are lined up. And I'm just going to trace around this top. So that gives me exactly what I need when I cut this out. I'll have my top tab and I'll have the piece that covers this. So I will have two pieces. One that's going to go here and one that's going to go here. I hope that makes sense. It'll make more sense once I actually cut it out. So I go through, go through the whole thing uh, for page two. Page two in here. I want this section. So I'm going to line up the edge. And it might overlap just a little bit. You know, I just happen to want to use this one. Um, if it's a slight overlap, it doesn't matter because you're going to be cutting slightly inside the lines when you cut these out, so that your distressed edge is going to show is going to peek through. So I've got this lined up where I want it. I'm going to draw across here, and now I'm going to fold this over and draw my line going all the way down. And that is <coughs> page two. So I've got two marked on the back of this also. Now we come to the big fold out spread in the middle. Let me get this back the way it's supposed to be. Okay, so it's like this. It's your pocket, you've got traced, your page two you've got traced, and then it folds out like this. And I've numbered both of these three and three. So what I've got here, let me get myself lined up here. I'm tracing around the whole thing just like this around, this happened to work out to going to the edge, around the tab, around the whole thing, and that is that. And then we've got page four, which happens to be where the next pocket is going to be. The next side pocket, and you go back and okay four and all you always this always face up to trace around for your template so around this whole thing Flip this up, draw the line across the bottom, mark it as four, and then you grab your next section. This also is marked four. Again, I'm going to line up the bottom edges, make sure everything is lined up on the, uh, on the sides also, and just go around this top edge. 
and you just keep doing the same things until you get to the end which is uh, pretty darn cool so I'm gonna cut some of these out get these back in order um, I use a ruler and my knife or my um, exacto knife so, front cover to get them get the primary parts cut out and I'm lining this up on the line that I drew initially or actually I'm sorry I'm gonna put this just a little bit inside the line so my pencil line is here which hopefully you can see that the pencil line is here and the ruler is offset a little bit and I eyeball it and I cut so I'm gonna just flip it and I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna offset just a little bit from the pencil line Not quite far enough up. And then I'm going to go to the other edge, not the top tab part. I'm going to go to the other side, offset a little bit. And I'm going to grab my scissors. I need a new blade in my knife. Okay, and now I've got my pencil line here. I'm going to just manually cut just slightly inside that pencil line. So, here's my line. Well, it's kind of a double line here since I wasn't exactly lined up when I traced it again. Follow the curves. Not quite straight. Since it's not quite straight, I'm going to use my uh, use my ruler here just to clean that up a little bit. Okay, so now. I have, there we go, my front cover, and I'm not going to glue anything down until I've got everything cut. So I'll set that aside, and go ahead and cut out, this is for the back. Same thing, I'm offset. Here's my pencil line. There's my ruler. Offset a little bit. Go along the bottom edge. side offset just a little bit and grab my scissors to do the top part cutting slightly inside the pencil line I know it's here. Yeah, that one goes all the way across.
<coughs> okay, it says back cover on the back of it. So when it's when it's tied, it's gonna go on the back cover like that. Okay. Keep your scraps. I hang on to these, and I, hey, that's a pretty cool H, um, <laughs> um, to use for tags and flips. So I don't trace or cut any of those out until I see what I have left for my scraps. Okay, um, we'll go ahead and do the inside pocket. I'm going across, lining up with the bottom line of the inside front. Offset just a little bit. And that offset is on the inside of the line. To the side. Offset a little bit. Other side, offset a little bit, and here I'm going to go ahead and go straight across the top so that I can just get the piece out since it does merge a little bit with this. Definitely need to put in a new blade. Okay. So on here, I hope you can see, I have the line for the very top of the pocket. And I have the lines, or the line for the, set, the second piece. So first I'm going to go ahead and finish cutting out this top one, it's top edge, or the top tab. Just cutting slightly inside that line. Okay. And now I'm going to cut just slightly beneath this line. So this is going to be two pieces for your side pocket. This is where your eraser comes in, just to get rid of those pencil lines. Okay, so I have two pieces here. This piece will go here. And then when this is and then this piece will go here. So you lose a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of, of the design, but not really even enough to be noticeable. See if I can pick this up. So you can see it.
Uh, of course, everything wants to be slippery right now since I'm not gluing it down. Come on. I, I, I purposely don't want to glue it down yet. Because I learned the hard way when I did my first one. Um, you know, when everything was assembled together. Let me just do it like this and you'll, you'll get the general idea. When everything was already assembled, trying to get this in was a beast. And like I said, most of them that I've seen just leave this raw. And I like, I like the finished look better. Um, so that's those pieces. And then we have the inside two. Cutting just slightly inside the line. And since I'm only cutting one side edge here, I'm going to take the ruler in just a little bit further. And same thing with the other edge. So there you have page two. And put that aside. Put this aside. Okay, so this is page three where it's going all the way across. And this is generally a pretty easy cut. You do want to cut slightly inside the line again. Yes, yeah, this one goes all the way down. Take it quite far enough across. Okay. And this is the top of that side tab. So I'm just going directly using the very top of the tab. I'm not cutting inside that at this point. across the top, inside the line or offset, put this away, and my tab is going down this side here, so I'm going to cut just inside of that. having a hard time seeing where I did my line here. I'm going to guess it's right about there. Okay, and maybe you can help me because um, I don't know how I do this. I lose things in plain sight. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> okay. So this is that. Now I could crease it here, um, but I think that's going to add a little too much bulk to the fold. So I line it up to where I want it. 
and I'm going to lightly mark just inside I'm using the fold line of the file folder as my guideline and I'm going just a little bit to one side of it and putting a mark and doing the same thing on the other side of the fold in the file folder. So I've got two marks there and now I am going to just cut straight down from those marks and set and split this into two. And hopefully it'll be pretty straight. So again, you're going to lose a tiny piece of the design, but it really is so minimal that the eye really isn't going to catch it. Now obviously if you're looking for it so then that's that. So then I'll get glued down like that. And then you have page four page four which is another side pocket page and you're going to do the same thing again as what you did for the first pocket page splitting it into two pieces um, so I think what I'll do is go ahead and um, do the rest of my cuts uh, I guess I can fast forward no, it's actually going it'll, to, it'll take longer to, uh, to upload even if I fast forward. So I'm going to go off for now and get all this cut out and then I will come back and we'll start doing assembly. Alrighty, see you in a little bit. Okay, so now I have all of the, um, the page covers cut out. Nothing is assembled yet. There's the cover. <coughs> the top tab, inside front cover, this page, the two page spread, and actually I didn't do it on this one, I'll show you when I get to the next one. Um, I forgot about it on this one, uh, but a little trick to share with you so that you do have continuous no break in that gap. Okay, and whoop, the tab, the pocket, page, the two page spread, and what I did, I really didn't want to lose any of this bird, so I cut more off on this side. I cut this out as normal, marked it and went ahead and cut along that mark and then instead of cutting on this mark going down where I would have lost you know, a good piece of the bird I cut more off on this side so that worked out great you can see it's continuous with just a little break there and the top tab inside pocket page the two page spread. I did the same thing on this one. If you join them together, there's no break. A little bit of separation. I cut more off on this side instead of cutting more out of here. And then the back cover. So I kind of keep it all together like that because <clears throat> you're going to flip through for reference. Now I'm going to go through the papers that I used and um, mark out and cut out pieces for my flips and tabs and tags. 
Okay. So this piece isn't really big enough to do one of these flips. So I'll use something else. But what's great about this paper is there's so, there's so much of it that coordinates together. Um, but I do have enough for a tag. So I will pick what I want. And I definitely want part of that doily. And even though it's sideways, I'm okay with that. And I'll go through and just trace around the tag. that off so I can keep it with the tag but I also have the back side of the tag to do um, so inside let's see I'm going to use some of that paper for the other side of the tag around. That's part of why you need an eraser also in case you hit go over one of those corners which I am prone to do. Okay so that's the pieces for my first tag. Uh, let's see what I have. I think I will use this for, is it large enough for my flip? It is because I'm going to be cutting it down some anyway. And so, the outside. And I'll go back and do clean cuts later. Let's see. This is large enough for the inside. It is. Yay. Again, same thing. This is a little bit larger than what's here on the paper, but since I'm going to be trimming that paper down anyway, it's all good. And I'm not cutting on the lines or inside the lines. I'm just uh, cutting it loose from the paper and I will go back and clean it up. And for the flip, That might be a little bit too small, but this will work. And I've got my fold here. This is what's going to go underneath of the paper if I remember to do it right this time. <laughs> so I'm going to fold that in and trace around that. So that's one piece of it. I need to get that edge again. That's where my lead shrank.
and maybe I'll just go ahead and use that for the inside. I could vary it up a little bit more, but I'll be okay with this. Now, if you wanted to get more uh, contrast before the between the inside and the outside of the flips, yeah, you can work with different papers, and it's all good. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go through and trace around and cut out the rest of my um, tags and flips and come back when that's done. See you in a few. Okay, I didn't realize that the camera wasn't on, so let me just get this down real quick and I'll do a real quick review of what I did. Fortunately, it wasn't much. Okay, so I glued on the front cover flipped it over and I glued on the top part of the tab. I've got the next section and I glued in this part and these two together will form that first pocket. Okay, but before I do that I'm going to go ahead and put these other pieces in because to me it's just it's easier to get these papers in and then assemble these one section at a time. So this is page two going in and you can use whatever glue you want. I, I like the, um, the Scotch quick dry adhesive. Um, you can use double stick tape if you want to. Okay, and this is the double spread and you can round these corners if you want to. I, I rounded corners you know where they you know in some spots not everywhere and you just want to put that in and offset it so that you've got a little bit of, the, of all the edges showing. trying to do this fairly quickly because I should be in bed by now. <laughs> Tomorrow's a work day. But I wanted to get this done for you. Okay, that's that. Okay, and this is going to be the inside or the second side pocket. This is going to be your top loading pocket. So where you have your double spread, flip it and just do the edge and the bottom. Press that down so it gets nice and secure. Okay, so now that I'm finished with this first section, I'm going to attach it to the cover. So since this is going to be a side pocket, you just want to put your glue along the sides and the bottom. Then you want to take your cover and I'd like to just hold them straight up and make sure they're aligned because it's you do want your spine to be straight or as straight as it can be as far as alignment and make sure that the sides are lined up and secure that down okay so now you have your front cover you've got your first pocket and I'm putting a little flip in there and what I didn't do is put in one of the other little flips 
that I wanted to include. And my glue is probably nice and dry, so I will probably have to go in again with some seam binding or something to attach that in. I mean, I guess I can try to lift that a little bit. So maybe I can get, get that in there. It might work. Is that long enough? No. <laughs> I'm just running my blade under there lightly but firmly to loosen up some of that glue. Okay, and now I'm going to sneak a little more glue down in there and secure that down. Did any glue even squeeze out? <laughs> there we go. This is probably going to squeeze out mess. Okay, so hopefully I won't forget to do that on the next section. Okay, so there's the flip. And I've got my top pocket here. And I'm just going to tuck in a tag. Okay, so there's the first section done. Okay, now I'm going to grab my second section. I've got my tab cover. Set that aside for now. And get this next section glued in. Okay, this is the front of the pocket. down just a little bit more but that's all right okay and this is where I want my my next flip so I'm going to glue it in first glue your flips in first before you glue your paper down <laughs> and you don't want to butt it right up to the right up to the fold because you do want to be able to open and close your uh, your little journal. Okay, so now that's in, and I'm going to cover that tab with the next paper. to just bring it up a little bit and make sure that I'm going to be able to open it. Probably could have trimmed that one down a little bit more too, but say la vie. Okay, and this, this tab is actually, flip is a little thick. I probably should have separated it on this front. I'm not going to do that now. I might go back and do it later. Let's see. Let's just see how this goes. Let's 
sometimes this quick dry adhesive is a little too quick. And I definitely want to make sure this lines up at the center so that I have that continuity of the design. Okay. This is going to be the next pocket. And this is going to be the top pocket. So you've got it like this. Open it up. Go along the edge and the bottom. Close it up. <coughs> okay, and now we want to join this section to the first section. So we want to keep this a pocket again. So along the sides and the bottom with the glue. And I like to stand them up to get them lined up. And that just makes sure that the uh, the spine is straight. They're all lined up together. Go ahead and tuck a tag in here. Okay, and now we're going to do the last section. The top tab. Set that aside and focus on this section now. This is the front of the pocket. where I want to put in my next tuck. Actually, I forgot to tuck something into that side pocket. Let's do this one. And we have another tuck here. I'll just have this come out a little bit different. And I'm going to put that, drop it down a little bit. That's not going to work. Got to go this way. And now we can put the paper over top of that tab. Shift it a little bit. OK. 
Okay, and here's our double spread. This is where we want to open it up, get that top pocket, the side and the bottom, fold it back over. And now I'm back. Now if I wanted a um, seam binding or ribbon or lace closure or something, then I would be gluing it on before I put on the uh, front and the back covers. But I didn't do that this time, so I'll come up with another way to close it. Maybe I'll do some eyelets or something for this one, but I'm not going to do it in this video. Since I don't know what I want to do. Okay, and now I'm going to bring these sections together. Put these tags, just so I can make sure it's all lined up well. Okay, on the pocket. Glue along the bottoms and sides. Bring it up. Line it up. And then press it down. Okay, so I'm not quite sure yet what I want to do to cover the spine, but this gives you the how-to on the assembly, how I found it's easier for me to do it, to kind of keep everything kind of systematic. that in. Top pocket. And we'll just do a quick little flip through. And there it is. Flip. Flip there. Tag, and I'll end up finishing, you know, punching holes in the tops of the tags and putting in ribbon or seam binding or something. I'm gonna flip here. Tag. Double spread. Oh, I don't know how to put that one in too soon. Yeah. down as far. A little flip. Put 
the tag. And for the yeah, all these little flips and the little pocket inserts, I just used what was left over from the pieces that I had cut. So there it is. Again, it's thick because it's cardstock. Um, I am going to go back in and put some more glue in on the spine just to make sure that it stays good and sturdy. I don't have any binder clips handy, but that's probably you know the best way to go as far as um, keeping this thing secured while the glue dries on the spine. my finger down, catch any excess. Now just hold this together for a minute to make sure it gets a good grip. And then once I figure out you know, what I'm going to do to actually cover the spine, that's going to help secure it too. So, that is it. I hope that makes it a little bit easier for you and that it all made sense um, to me to go in steps you know, as far as getting all my papers cut out and do all my tags and, um, and flips get all that done and then assemble as the papers are going in to me that just made it so much easier than you know measuring for the papers and everything after everything is already assembled and trying to get those in so let me know if this uh works out easier for you or if you give it a go um just let me know love to see what you do and that is it for now um, not sure when I'll be back. Might not be till after the new year. I don't know. Maybe they'll, maybe, maybe some time will spring out of nowhere. <laughs> Who knows? But, um, hope you all stay well. Appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. And I will hopefully see you soon. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.